Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynut and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Last time we gathered enough souls to buy uh, a peculiar key, namely uh, this one over here. Key to the decrepit tower behind Firelink Shrine. And today the day has finally come where we'll uh, open that. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's up here. Near the giant tree. There we go, we still have to wait to get outside apparently, but uh, when the fog dissipates I should be able to get to uh, the tower. There we go. Did anything fall here? Ooh, seed of a giant tree. What's this? There we go. Enemies react to invaders. Is that because I got invaded? Makes enemies react to invaders, because normally the enemies don't react to invaders and they uh, they don't get harmed by them. The giant trees were also known as watcher trees and their seeds unmask invaders. When used effectively, these seeds will help counter dark spirits. Awesome. But not what we came here for. So uh, let's open this up. Yeah, okay. Wasn't entirely sure if I would be right about this. No uh, illusory walls, and everything went silent. Well, except for me, of course. Holy shit. Anything? I still don't really know if that is Lothric Castle or not. Still doubting that. Uh, okay. Where are we now? So I know there's an item down there. I think I could see that on the roof over there somewhere. Yeah, over there. And there's a ladder that I could kick down. And it sounds really windy. You do have a nice view over here. Holy shit. Um. I'm looking around to see if I don't see anything uh, familiar. You can see the bonfire over there. Uh, these don't fall off. Or maybe I need to fall off. Sooner or later, but first. Let's head into here. Any enemies? No. That goes down. Okay. This is another elevator. Hmm. Going even higher towards the bell. Can I ring it? Okay. Everybody friendly in here? There's a tree up here. Oh god, vertigo. Okay then, anything over here? Seriously? You can walk around here but there's nothing to do. Well it looks like there's something down there but I'm not gonna risk that. Not right now anyway so let's head back and not fall off like an idiot because I have done that before as you uh, might remember it's not even that long ago um, well there's an item here now we're right underneath the bell okay firekeeper soul okay so this is another blind maiden apparently because most of the fire keepers are. Anything else around here? Except for a very loud wind. It doesn't look like it. Let's check out that soul. Oh, over here. Soul of a fire keeper who returned from the abyss. Oh. So this might cure me from my uh, Dark Sigil. 
This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil, which has tainted her soul. And yet her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another firekeeper. Huh. So if I give that to the firekeeper, will that allow me to heal my dark sigil? Hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. Is there anything hidden below this thing? Doesn't look like it. It's really dark down there. So no. So let's drop down onto the roof here. Although it looks like there's something else here as well. Oh no. No. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Whew. Uh, I thought for a second that I was gonna fall off horribly. Where is the... Is it down here? Where is it? I can hear it. Ooh, there it is. Um, first gonna kick that ladder down. Kick. There we go. Uh, maybe check out the rest of the roof. Because that crystal lizard isn't going anywhere as long as I don't move it. Um, wonder if I can open that one right now as well. Huh, there's something over here as well. But first, let's drop down. Lizard head, yeah I know that. There we go. Another chunk of twinkling titanite. Anything else around here? Then I need to know of. Doesn't really look like it. At first glance. I can drop down, but that just leads me back to the tower, I guess. Nothing here aside from that lizard. Okay then, so I'm gonna drop down, take the ladder again and get that item on the lower roof. And then I'm gonna check out the other one, maybe I can open it with the same key. Home of bones. Okay then. Not really that interesting. Hello? Uh, okay. So I'm higher in Firelink Shrine now. Who called? Rubbish required ahead. But I <gasps> you, you. Shiny, twinkly. Me, me, pickle pea. Me, me, bumperum. Bumperum? Um, so rubbish, you need rubbish, but well, I can drop some rubbish, um, rubbish, um, this, uh, leave, leave one. No bumper rum. That's the shards? Ooh. Awesome. Well, let's pick this back up. Pickle pea or bumper rum? Bumper rum. Well. Hmm. Well, they usually. The, the raven that sits there usually. Because that's something that returns in most of the Dark Souls games. Uh, usually, you need to place something shiny over there, so I wonder... Humanity used to work once, so I might as well leave an ember here. You... you... 
No, no. That no pickle pea, that no pumper rum. Okay. Um, rubbish required ahead. Well, I used rubbish. Didn't seem to work. Pickle pea rum, pumper rum. <gasps> okay. I'm just guessing now. Okay, holy shit. Um, well, that doesn't do me any good now, does it? Or is there something here? Wait a second. First, gonna try something else. Pickle pea pump a rum. What could that be? Well, I have rum, kind of. That might work. Pickle pea pump a rum. I have no idea what that could be. Even if I. Can I drop this? Yeah. Leave seek, bro. Yes! Yes! That's the rum! The Sikh brow is the rum. Okay, did he, is that what he left me or...? Armor of the sun! <gasps> Praise the sun! Look at that! Look at that! It's Soleil's armor! But it's too heavy for me! Too heavy right now. Is it better than what I was wearing, actually? Well, it kind of is. It's a bit more absorption. Um. Hmm, interesting. It has a lot more resistances against status effects. But I do go from 66.7 to 70. So I'm gonna carry the mirror vest right now, but I'm gonna read this. Chainmail armor and white coat featuring a large rendition of the holy symbol of the sun. The choice attire of a singular knight of sunlight from a previous age, Soleil. The symbol was painted by the knight himself, but the armor never bore any special power, sacred or otherwise. That's actually referring to the fact that, uh, well, the rumor that Soleil will, would be, uh, Gwyn's son, the Lord of Cinder's son, the original Lord of Cinder. So, uh, we are getting to places where... Okay. Why is this thing dark? Okay, just a chest then. Covered a silver serpent ring. I do remember that being an interesting piece of equipment. Uh, I might want to switch this... Fallen foes yield more soul souls. There we go. A silver ring depicting a snake that could have been but never was a dragon. Fallen foes yield more souls. Snakes are known as creatures of great avarice, devouring prey even larger than themselves by swallowing them whole. If one's shackles are cause for discontent, perhaps it is time for some old-fashioned greed. Interesting. Um... Which ring do I want to drop? I'm not really using pyromancies anymore, so that's actually a no-brainer. Cover the silver ring! Serpent silver ring, sorry. Any other secrets? No. The other side here, no. I'm gonna bang every wall from now on. So that's that, I suppose. Although it looks... Or is that the place? Yeah, I probably can reach that without much trouble. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna go back. Because we might have given her the pump -a rum but not the pickle pea. What would the pickle pea be? Use your noggin! Trophy nut, use your noggin. Pickle pea. Maybe it's something we haven't found yet. Could also be the case. I'm just quickly gonna check if there are any more hidden well illusory walls over there. So what's dropping down here, right? And then to the side here, yeah, okay. 
Is there another? Because I didn't run all the way along this place. There doesn't seem to be anything here. So let's check back inside and see if uh, our birdie friend still requests a pickle pea. Maybe we can get the helmet. Still? Yeah. You, you, me, me, pickle pea. You still pickle pea and pump a rum. Um. What else could we try? Pickle. Pickle pea. Well, the only really special item that I got besides the Sieg Brow, which was a one-use item, is this young white branch I got from the giant, so maybe... I'm not gonna get lucky twice, am I? No. That, no pickle pea. Okay. Um, I'm gonna check out the other directions, because there might be something hidden over here. Or over here. Or over here. Doesn't look like it. Because uh, we kind of already know what's on the other side of that wall as well. So that's probably nothing as well. Okay. Um, we want to check out that other tower. So let's head over there. Over here to where that katana wielding guy was. Uh, let's gently drop down. I'll still take damage a bit, but can I open this? Nope, still nothing. And it also says it doesn't open up from this side, so. Did I miss something? Oh, well, I kind of missed something over here. East-West shield. <laughs> was that a 100% shield that was just lying here and I never used? East-West shield. Oh no, 55. A wooden shield decorated with the ancient symbol of the two-headed eagle close to a small shield in size. And the rest we kind of know. Okay, nothing special that I missed. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Yeah, I might just want to go back inside. Oh, that was deep. Let's go back inside and back up. Um, and I kind of want to orient myself towards where we need to be. If you want to get to that other tower how would we because we we can go inside there but from the way it's aligned inside I'm kind of feel like there's something over here that I missed that there should be an opening over here somewhere although it doesn't look like it um Nothing over here either. Probably nothing. Um, I'm just guessing right now, so excuse me if this takes a while. So if that's not the case, then I might want to try and get back up through here. Until we're all the way up top, up top again. Then across the bridge. Oh, well, hmm, there are these edges over there, which might look like I should be able to jump over there. Ooh, that's a fucking risky jump, though. 
but I don't see another way of getting down there. Oh, seriously? There's an item over there. Oh, God. Oh, and that's... Wait a second. I can get down there, can't I? There we go, okay. Um, well, now I've done it. Oh no, wait, there's a crypt. Holy shit, and look at that. I should be able to jump over there as well from where I was. So now, drop down. Yeah. I wonder if I can't just immediately drop down to over there. Woo! Eesh. Ah, okay. Then over there. And then we're here. Okay. Estus ring. An Estus ring. So, okay, yeah, we're down right now. Visions of I did it, yeah, indeed. Um, let's check out that ring. Does that just boost? Increase the, increases HP restored with Estus Flask. A green ring crafted from shards increases HP restored by Estus Flask. This ring was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the en ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Huh. Entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Is that a hint towards the story? Or am I just grasping at straws here? A certain fire... There has been... Is that the same firekeeper that was lying up top? Oh no, wait. These are all firekeepers. Holy crap, look at that. Uh -huh. They're all blind and women. Blind women. Holy, yeah, because it said that the tower was used to bury them, and those are all coffins, so... Somehow, this kind of fell apart, and they all crashed down. Creepy. Okay. Um, I'm gonna suppose, for now, that those stories are unrelated, that it's not the same firekeeper as the one that came back from the abyss as a read about before. Uh, I'm gonna go back again. I'm sorry if we're walking in circles here, but there was that other item and I really want to have that as well. So on the left there's another item. So we get another full circle. So it's right over there. So if I go to the edge here, I'm gonna check it again because is there anything there's another one next to it, but I'm gonna presume I can barely jump that. I'm full health, so uh Okay. Oh, I might have misjumped there, yeah. Let's try that again. So, second try. I'm wondering if I, if I really should aim for that one on the right. Um this is really well aligned with this wall, and I kind of, kind of veered on the to the right when I jumped. But there we go. I'm on. I'm still on. Can I? Can I? Oh, okay. Firekeeper. Ooh, the, ooh, interesting. So that's the armor, I suppose. I don't think there was a hood or something like that. Firekeeper robe. A robe worn by the guardian of the shrine, the firekeepers were robbed of light to better serve as vessels for souls. Only those who would cherish the, cherish the writing, searing darkness were given the keeper's black attire. So there were two kinds of firekeepers, if I read this correctly. Cherish the writing, searing darkness were given the keeper's black attire. Oh no. Because the only when they when they went blind they could receive that attire. Okay, I get it. I'm gonna look how that. Well, it's pretty nice, but I'm a 
a bit more of a fan. Antiquated dress, did I? It was never intended for battle. Hmm. Did I miss that? Could be. Uh, Firekeeper... Gloves. That's the same. And then the... Probably... Firekeeper shirt. Skirt. And that's also the same. Okay. Now I probably should ask this up before I jump down, because uh, this doesn't look healthy. Yeah, I probably should have, would have killed me. So that's that, and I'm gonna give that firekeeper soul to the firekeeper in our age. I think I have something that belongs to you now. So she's wearing the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Give Firekeeper Soul. Here we go. Okay. Exciting. Yes. Ashen One, this is much like what lies within me. Then let it find its own place within my bosom. Within your bosom? She will understand. We are both Firekeepers after all. Yes, indeed. The Firekeeper is now able to heal the Dark Sigil. Forgive me, sister. May the flames guide thy way. Okay. Uh, well, heal my Dark Sigil. I'm gonna see look at my face when she does that. Requires 7,407 souls. Uh, not right now, because I can't even afford that. Yeah, well, God I damn it. Um, I might as well... Spend my oh, I'm not even gonna have enough. Never mind, so that's something we'll have to do later on. Because I don't have enough souls right now. What we do have is another Esther shard. So Andre. That is quite neat. Reinforce Esther's flask. There we go. And now we have seven two. That's good. Uh, and I don't think I need anything else. Could reinforce my fire sword, but I'm still not really sure whether I'm going to use this thing for the entire playthrough or not. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Um, I don't think I have anything else for anyone else, so uh, let's head back to. Um, yeah, I kind of really don't know where we were. We're still in the swamp, I think. Do I have any of those? No. Okay. We were at the Farren Keep. Perimeter or not because we had a short trip towards the Cathedral of the Deep but I wanted to finish off yeah Farron Keep Perimeter uh, let's head back there 